Hi everybody, Miss Janet here from the Bryant Library. So today I wanted to read two new books that we have in our children's room. And the first one is called Speak Up, Molly Lou Mellon. And this is written by Patty Lavelle. So I hope you like this little story. And there she is, Molly Lou. Molly Lou Mellon was a tiny little girl with a big, deep, down heart. And her mom always told her, be true to yourself. And there she is. So she was. And Molly Lou Mellon tried to do the right things in her life. Didn't always work. Her mom always told her, take responsibility for the things that you do, good or bad. So she did. She put a roller coaster in her room, right? She's having a lot of fun with her dog. So Molly Lou Mellon had friends of all shapes, sizes, opinions, and ideas. Her mom always told her, accept people for who they are and listen to their ideas, even if they are different from yours. So she did. She's very creative. And Molly Lou Mellon had a loud voice and she chattered and jabbered and gabbed all the time with her friends. And her mom always told her, you have a strong voice. Use it to speak up for anyone who might need your help. So she did. See, the dog doesn't have a voice or the bird, so she's speaking up for them in their defense to her mom. And in the fall, Molly Lou Mellon started school again with a big yellow backpack and a huge toothy smile for all her friends. And she sat with Ronald Durkin and Gertie in the front row of their classroom. Bettina Bunklehead snickered at them and cooed Molly Lou and Ronald kissy kissy boyfriend girlfriend. Molly Lou Mellon stood up and told her, we are friends. Then she exchanged special handshakes with Gertie and Ronald. See, she spoke up for her friend who may not have had a big voice too. And in the winter, Molly Lou Mellon had to be project partners with Bettina Bunkelhead. They accidentally painted all over the desk and not on their papers. It was a little fun. And when the teacher asked who did it, Molly Lou Mellon said me and had to spend recess cleaning the desk. Bettina said nothing and played a great game of pirate outside. So Molly Lou took responsibility for what she did. And Molly Lou Mellon was mad at first, but then she played her own thrilling game of swabbing the desks. Well, desk. And in the spring, a new boy named Garvin Grape started school. He was small, he wore glasses and his ears stuck out. He told the class all about Newton's law of gravity in a long speech at the front of the room. And Bettina Bunkle had rolled her eyes, sneered at Garvin and said, big deal, really loudly. And Garvin's cheeks turned bright red and he hung his head. And Molly Lou Mellon raised her hand and said, yes, gravity is a big deal. And then she scribbled a little note and handed it to Garvin and it read, welcome to our school, nice speech. Join us on the playground at recess. We can test out some gravity. Woodle woodle, dink dink, cha cha, waddle do. That was very nice of Molly Lou. And on the first day of summer, Bettina Bunklehead showed up at camp and promptly stuck her foot out, tripping. Garvin Grape. He crashed to the ground and his glasses went flying, and Bettina grinned and chirped, Smarty pants, looks like gravity gotcha. And Molly Lou Mellon caught Garvin's glasses in midair, went nose to nose with Bettina right here, and said, you must never do anything like that again to my friend. Friends stand up for one another. And Ronald stepped forward and so did Gertie, waving her crutch. They pulled Garvin Grape up, linked arms, and the four friends together shouted, Woodle, woodle, dink, dink, cha, cha, waddle do. If you want to be a friend, it's all up to you. So they all stuck together like friends do.
And there's Garvin, and there's Bettina, and Bettina wants to be friends with Garvin. So I thought that was a nice little story about letting your voice be heard, standing up for what you think is right, and taking responsibility for your actions. Good for Molly Lou Mellon. Now the next book that we have, which is brand new in our children's room, is called I Am One, and it's a book of action. So I hope you like this one too, and this is by Susan Verdi. I Am One, a book of action. How do I make a difference? It seems like a tall order for one so small. But beautiful things start with just one. One seed to start a garden. One stroke to start a masterpiece. And one note to start a melody. One step to start a journey and one brick to start breaking down walls. And I can speak one gentle word to start a conversation. I can use my one soft voice to start a friendship. I can perform one act of kindness to start a connection. I can share one tender hug to start caring. I can light one candle to start leading the way. I can make one drop in the water to start ripples that become swells and waves. Traveling over oceans, across borders and boundaries. Landing on distant shores to start a chain reaction, inspire a movement, make a change. I am one and I can take action. We are each one and we can take action. One by one, we can make a difference. Just like that. Because one is all it takes to start something beautiful. And that's I Am One, a book of action. So I hope you like the two new books that I shared with you today. And we have plenty of more picture books in our children's room and also some new fiction. So I hope you um, have a chance to come in and visit us and um, take a look at some of the new books that we have in our collection. So until we meet again, everybody have fun. Happy reading.